label of pastine food products are as familiar as any in New England. Heck, there's probably a jar or a can in your cupboard right now. But did you know they've been stocking family kitchens around here for close to 150 years? Your grandmother, great-grandmother, has a recipe that the family's still using, and it normally includes a product of pastine. Mark Tosi is president of Pastine Foods. He and his brother Chris are sixth-generation descendants of the original founders of the company. Initially, it was olive oil and wheels of cheese. And then the line developed from there. It was Luigi and Pietro Pastine who got things started with a push cart in Boston's Haymarket back in 1874. For the first hundred years we were in business, we were primarily serving the Italian community. And it wasn't until mid-century that everyone started cooking and eating Italian food. Over the years, the Pastine Company has dabbled in all sorts of products. This was my father's bookcase. Everything from coffee to wine, but it's been those canned tomatoes that the family believes has really set them apart from the competition. Well, no question about that. It's all about the quality of the products. Uh, Kitchen Ready Tomatoes is our uh, number one item, and uh, it's just a superior tomato product. So we move over three million cases a year from their distribution hub and headquarters in Canton to this bottling operation in West Roxbury packing up a run of pastine olives. It's actually the connection to those specific growers and pasta makers back in their home country of Italy that keeps the tradition of continued success growing for generations to come. You know, our name is Tosi, but there's still pastine inside of it. It's in our blood and uh, it's very important. So how ingrained is this family in Boston's history? The next time you visit the North End, just across from Hanover Street near the Greenway, look for a plaque that honors the first Pastine pushcart almost 150 years ago. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB News Center 5. I will look for that. I didn't.